Hi, I'm John, KF7DVJ, Communications Chairman for the Centerville City Citizen Corps Council. I'm here today to show you my emergency um, response setup. I, unlike most people, I try to go uh, mobile with my bicycle rather than a car. So the rig that I'm going to show you today is a, a bike with a trailer and my go kit. The go kit I've featured already. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that right now. The bike is an older Cannondale Delta V. Uh, I'm not really fit for use on the trails anymore. I've kind of let it run down a little bit, but it's great in the city. It's got slick tires and fenders, so if there's, I have to respond in a rainstorm, it's good to go. The trailer is a Bob Yak single tire uh, trailer for uh, bicycle purposes. It's a great trail. And as you can see, my go kit fits in here almost exactly. It's like it was made to carry the go kit. We're gonna, we've profiled the go kit in the past, but we're going to walk through what I have in my kit right now for emergency response. Okay, so this is my go kit. As I said, it's a little action packer, very simple top. In my go kit, I keep my uh, chest harness, which has my Yezu 817. It has a very, very small silly antenna on it right now. When I'm doing backcountry work, I have a longer antenna that's a gain antenna. Um, I also keep a waterproof pen and uh, one of these handy um, write in the rain all weather notebooks. And then in the main pocket, I also keep a backup battery. I have my microphone on it, and uh, that's about it. So, chest harness is handy when I have to move or when I'm in the backcountry and so forth. Um, as I mentioned during the parade coverage today, which was practice for emergency communications, I used a, a low power radio with a homemade 2 meter J pole. So this is a 2 meter J pole. It's made out of very simple, cheap, effective ladder line. And uh, at the base of the ladder line you'll see that I've uh, shorted the two sides of the line and then stripped away some of the insulation and soldered that. This allows me to connect to it with my coax cable and just some alligator clips. I use this because I have a, several different backcountry antennas that I use. I have the ladder line, I also have a directional antenna and the alligator clips let me use it with any antenna. Basically I've put the hot on the short side of the antenna and the ground on the long side of the antenna and I'm, I'm good to operate. This antenna was, uh, was elevated on a 10 foot piece of PVC pipe. So there's my antenna. Here's my short coax stub with a male to male coax connector. And then uh, I've got about a, a 12 foot piece of coax here to get me from the antenna over to my radio. Speaking of radios, for the parade, I used my Yezu FT817. It's a uh, low power radio, it has a large battery in it that will go for, well, I went three hours today without draining the battery at all. And uh, the little mic, this 817 is also a backcountry uh, HF radio. We'll do HF, VHF, and UHF. Nice little product that Yezu's built there. I also keep a cheap little solar panel for a battery charger and other accessories. Um, I haven't tried using it with my 817 yet, but I will. Uh, when I'm doing parades and other noisy things, if I'm not using my HT, but I'm using the 817 like I did today in that control, just have a pair of Yezu headphones here to keep the sound out, external sound out. Other emergency things I keep in there, nice bright orange vest. I live in Utah and in the summer it gets very hot, so it's a mesh vest, not very warm. and. Uh, works real well for fire patrol. A pair of gloves, I always want a pair of gloves, um, and some parachute cord. That's uh, the end of really the emergency portion of this kit, but I'll show you some of the other things that I have. Um, always carry a little food with me, got a builder bar there, um, a very bright uh, surefire flashlight for nighttime work. This is a smaller um, VHF antenna. It's a dual band antenna, VHF and uh, UHF for the 817. Just hooks on the front with a little BNC connector. I uh, stumbled across this in an old box full of transformers and stuff like that. It's a little Energizer rechargeable battery charger and it just happens to run off 12 volts. So all I had to do was take a uh, couple of Anderson power plugs and uh, cut the 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 power input in a little bit short, hook it up to the power plugs and I was good to go. 
Uh, let's see what else. I've got a very, very small, very bright LED light, which I picked up at Napa for a couple of bucks. Fantastic little light. It has a good working area. Illumination. Uh, other things that I keep in the kit, um, as you can see, I've got a power output on the front of the kit. I can use this uh, Anderson pole lead to plug into other operators or into a power strip coming from a generator or something to charge the batteries that are inside my kit. For my 817, I have an Electcraft T1 tuner and a 1 to 1 and 4 to 1 ballon that I use for HF communications. I have a series of uh, uh, band specific wire antennas, uh, 20 meter and 40 meter. And I've found that the, T, the T1 the will tune a 20 meter antenna up on 20, 40, and 80 meters without any problem at all. So all this extra wire, not necessary anymore. Other things, the power inverter, which worked great when you have a laptop with you. Just hook this up into the Go Kit and uh, I'm able to pick up 110. Got an Anderson power pole with battery clips. That's uh, for hooking up to other people's RV batteries. And then uh, I think the thing I find most helpful in this Go Kit is that I have a set of two sealed lead acid batteries. They're kind of hooked together, so it's hard to pull them out. But I've got two SLA batteries in here that just sit at the bottom of the kit. And uh, with those two batteries on the 817, I can go for about two days, two and a half days, uh, with my radio operating full time. There's a bunch of other little things. Got some adapters. A uh, little handheld FRS radio. Got a uh, just a wire that I can use for a random wire antenna or a counter voice. Pad of paper and pen. And that's about it. So this little go kit all fits up in this eight gallon action packer. Works fantastic. I've got my my own power source both so I can charge up the batteries, but more importantly, so I can power the radio and other equipment as I use it. And uh, all the antennas and all the wires and things that I would need in an emergency call-out.